Yeah, man. To knock only sessions. Kadra. Shalawah. Shabbat Shalawah. Hey, code keepers, where we at? That's how you build a frequency with your tribe tribe. That's how you become one vibe. Halawa. Hey, checkpoint to checkpoint. It feels like we're reaching these checkpoints. Uh, man, at a magnificent rate, man. I feel like I was just saying Shabbat Shalom. Now we popping up. And I pray everybody's Zani, man. And whatever those obstacles are, whatever you need to get to. You know, I pray you're able to, you know, accomplish, you know, your goals, man. And see each other through. Continue to see each other through. You know, maybe it's about rearranging your goals, rearranging your priorities, or just being real with yourself, or you know, really having a plan. But this checkpoint for us is Hawaii given. It's a time that you <laughs> you pop out, you pop off, you you realize you're in a frequency war. You know, you're popping off, but there's a time to also come back home. You know, retreat back to your base. You know. <laughs> Rendezvous with yourself. And that's what the Shabbat is every week for us. Time to come on home to a retreat. <laughs> hey, people pay thousands of dollars for a retreat. A vacation retreat, they call it. That's what the Shabbat is. So retreat with us. Come back to the checkpoint. Continue to keep the water flowing, the water to the contributors. And our dragon sponsors on the wall for your contribution. Ether Squad.
Jeremiah chapter 12, verse 1. Righteous are you, Hawa. When I plead with you, you will let me talk with you of your judgments. Wherefore do, wherefore do it the way of the, or why for does the way of the wicked prosper? This is one of the most fundamental questions of all time. Why did a hijack got to prosper, right? Why do they have to, you know, have it so good, have it so easy, walking around like they own the place? They got everything spoon fed. Why do they have to be popping off on us? It makes you feel jealous inside. Sometimes they got it so easy, man. And you realize this is what we've done to why whenever we've gone after foreign gods and false gods. We made Hawaii feel like this, calling another mama, mama, another daddy, daddy. So he's treating other people like you would be treated. Her mom's going to give her wisdom to somebody else, make you jealous that they so smart over you. They got more than you. They never had to grind for it. You got to grind for everything. It ain't fair. Yeah, man. It's called a hard lesson. You know, we've done this to ourselves. Why do the wicked have to prosper? Wherefore are all thy, are they happy that deal very treacherously? Why are they so happy? All these wicked people, all the genocide, all the hatred. Why do they get some type of <laughs> white heaven? <laughs> Why is it so, you know, palm trees and beaches for these people, huh? Thou hast planted them, yeah. They have taken root. They grow. They bring forth fruit. They are near in their mouth and far from their reins. But you, Hawa, know me. <laughs> you know us, Hawa. Where's our Baruch, you say? Where's our joy? Where's our land? Where's our fruit? Hawa's asking us the same thing. Where is your fruit? Where is your land? Where are your blessings? Where's... Where's all your Baruch, my children? Do you notice yet that it's been taken from you? Pulled back? Readjusted? Recalibrated? Perhaps we need to get in cold. So we can get that Baruch. Get the covetous out of our heart. Stop false witnessing on each other. Stop the vanity on Hawa's name. Stop stealing from each other. Stop killing each other. You know, keep the code. Verse 3, Jeremiah 12. But you, Hawa, know me. You have seen me and tried my heart toward you. Pull them out like sheep for the slaughter and prepare them for the day of slaughter. He's talking about the wicked. Now, if we say this today, they'll call it terrorism or some shit. <laughs> they'll say, what? You want to slaughter us? You want to slaughter all of us happy people? You want to slaughter all of us that have a right to be anywhere we want to be? When can you just go on any land and just take over? Like only a parasite thinks like this. Only a hijack thinks they can just spread out anywhere. And it's just a free for all. Free land, free land. Free smoke, free smoke. Bringing smoke and genocide to our people. You planted them, Hawaii. 
<laughs> you crying out. Look at them grow. They bringing forth fruit. But you know me. You tried my heart. So pull these hijacks out like sheep for the slaughter and prepare them for the day of slaughter. How long shall the land mourn? And the herbs of every field wither for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. The beasts are consumed and the birds because they said he shall not see our last end. If thou hast run with the footmen and they have wearied thee, they, then how can you contend with horses? And if in the land of peace, wherein thou trust, they wearied thee. Then how will thou do in the swelling of the Jordan? For even your brethren and the house of your father, even they have dealt treacherously with thee. They have called a multitude after you. Believe them not, though they speak fair words unto you, beautiful words. They want you to be all irritated, you know, thinking that Hawa don't got the code keepers, man, and don't even listen to them because this is the wickedness in their heart. They don't want to see you win, you know, when you say you have another way to go. They, they secretly wishing against you because they wish they had thought of it. <laughs> Something as simple as keeping the code had to be in your heart bone. The law is in your heart bone. So they see you popping off like, I never seen the law kept like this in this frequency so easily, so beautifully. No power before their power. They really rock with that. <laughs> Believe them not, though they speak beautiful words. I have forsaken my house. I have left my heritage, I have given the dearly beloved of my soul into the hand of, of her enemies. My heritage is unto me as a lion in the forest. It cries out against me, therefore have I hated it. My heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. The, bir the birds round about are against her. Come you, assemble all the beasts of the field, come to devour. Many pastors have destroyed my vineyard. They have trodden my portion underfoot. They have made my pleasant portion a desolate wilderness. They have made it desolate. And being desolate, it mourns unto me. Look at all our desolate land. Look at it, man. The land is in mourning without the cold keepers on it. The land wants to pop off and be fruitful again. The land is made desolate because no man lays it to heart. The spoilers are come upon all high places through the wilderness, for the sword of Hawa shall devour from one end of the land even to the other end of the land, and no flesh shall have peace. They have sown wheat, but shall reap thorns. Ooh. When we say Hawa is going to devour from one end of the land to the other end of the land, they'll say terrorists, <laughs> crazy people. Don't take it literal. You're talking about the creator with the firmament, right? Yeah. Might want to listen, you know? How about instead of fighting... <laughs> Fighting the almighty power That created the firmament You did uh, Try listening You're getting in code My not Let's go <clears throat> We popping off man. They have made it desolate Verse 11 And being desolated mourns unto me The whole land is made desolate Because no man layeth it to heart the spoilers are come upon all high places through the wilderness for the sword of Hawa shall devour from one end of the land even to the other end of the land. No flesh shall have peace. 
Yeah, Hawa is going to terrorize these people. They have sown wheat, but shall reap thorns. They have put themselves to pay, but shall not profit. And they shall be ashamed of your revenues because of the fierce anger of Hawa. Thus says Hawa against all my evil neighbors that touch the inheritance which I have caused my people Israel to inherit. Behold, I will pluck them out of their land and pluck out the house of Judah from among them. I will pluck them out of their land and pluck out the house of Judah from among them. And it shall come to pass after that I have plucked them out. I will return. And have compassion on them and will bring them again, every man to his heritage, every man to his land. And it shall come to pass if they will diligently learn the ways of my people to swear by my name. Hawa lives. I exist. Ah, wow. As they taught my people to swear by Baal. You got to now learn it. Swear unto Hawa only. Promise an oath, the covenant, the code. Then shall they be built in the midst of my people and destroy that nation. <laughs> or excuse me. And if they would not obey, I will utterly pluck up and destroy that nation, says Hawa. All praise to why, I mean, sound like a deal to me. <laughs> sound like get down or lay down to me. What's it sound like to you, High Jack? What you want to do? You want to get down or get laid down? Choose up is what we always say. For the dismount, let's talk about the two paths. Let's get Psalms chapter one for the dismount. Wow, the two paths. Let's go. Choose up. Baruch is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. Nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of Hawa, keeping the code. And in his law does he meditate day and night, because... When you really get serious about it, you really start digging, you know, within yourself to get that, you know, get that junk out. You know what I'm saying? Whatever possible, you know, false gods, money, whatever it is, like get it out of the way of your priority. You know what I'm saying? Between connecting directly, KTC, keeping a code with the creator. Are you putting your vanity or vanity on the name of Hawa, your breath, your security? Are you truly in code, you know, with your Shabbat? It, it's to be meditated on. All this needs to be perfected, not just, oh, I know the code. Now it's time to perfect it within you, your family. One week might be better than another week. Keep going. Meditate on Hawa's code day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. Aquas, we're talking to you. Whatever you're doing will prosper. 
My ox, we talking to you. Whatever you're doing will prosper. The ungodly, the out of cold, are not so, but are like the shaft which the wind drives away. Oh yeah, they might look like they balling out now, but they're just wind. They're just dust in the wind. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For Hawah knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Why do the heathen rage? Psalms 2. And the people imagine a vain thing. The kings of Hawa, or excuse me, Shalak, the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against Hawa and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sits in the heavens shall laugh. The cords shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the, de the decree Hawah has said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten you. Ask of me and I shall give you the heathen for your inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for your possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O you kings, be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve a while with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry, and you perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled, but a little, Baruch are all they that put their trust in him. Hawah, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Psalms 3, let's go. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help. For him in Hawa. But you, Hawa, are a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto Hawa with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. I laid me down and slept. I waked, for Hawa sustained me. I would not be afraid of ten thousand of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, Hawa, save me, O my power, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. <laughs> thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongs unto Hawa. Your Baruch is upon your people. Tanakh only says. Shabbat Shalom. We did it again. Keep surfing the wave. Dawa 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 Drop Nation. We did it again. 
Nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop us. You keep your feet moving, cuz. Because you already got it, cuz. You already got it, cuz. Shabbat Shalom.